Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Leo, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Leo. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're fine and safe and doing good. And um, this reading for today, this is a weekly reading. I'm sorry I wasn't able to show you um, that I shuffled the cards because I was talking for the last one to two minutes and I forgot to turn on the camera. So... I have to keep it this way because I really feel like there's a very strong message in here. I will shuffle these cards. Um, this is the clarifiers, okay? The supporting cards. Okay, let's start again your reading. Sorry, I wasn't able to record it. Um, you're starting the reading with the chariot card, the moon card, and the two of wands. We will pick up love, career, money, and general situationship, okay? It seems to be Leo with the chariot card and the moon card. Like what I said in in the you know in the last one to two minutes, I forgot to turn it on the video. I'm picking up a very strong you're pushing yourself with the chariot card and the moon card in here. Something is very emotional, something is happening so fast, and on top of that it's affecting or it's connected to your emotions and it's happening soon two of wands two, two of wands is the two of wands is now to the immediate future so there's something that you're doing or involved with that you might be pushing the results or pushing yourself to its limits you know like there's a for some of you you want to be highly productive in here i'm kind of picking up you want to reach a certain level of success or productivity or you want the relationship or connection to level up and it's making you frustrated to so pushing it to the next level okay there's something in here that somehow the universe is advising you to forget about pushing yourself to be highly productive because that productivity the range the target yes you can be productive but it won't be it won't reach the target you know there's something in here that you want to be productive because you want to reach that but that thing that level of success whatever you want to reach you know in terms of love career money it's needing time because the two of ones is soon in the level of thing that you're doing it needs more time so if even if you put 150 percent of being highly productive it would it wouldn't be able to reach that point of you want because it's needing time two of wands okay you know i'm kind of picking up you know that you might overheat um and it's emotional so it's causing you a bit of a drama or stress in terms of work, in terms of team, in terms of relationship. Yeah, five of swords. But the thing about you, Leo, the thing about the Leo sign is that you know when to stop. You know when to surrender. So if you feel like you are on the ver you're pushing yourself on the verge of something and then you feel like you won't hit the target, withdraw. It's not a. It's not a. It's not the. It's not being a loser to withdraw. It's you. You will lose if you push further. You know. So imagine a vehicle. If you put it on a maximum use, it's you're going to ruin the engine. So you you want to keep your vehicle running. So you're going to step back because you identify that there's an issue with the time. Or maybe the target is set so high in a short period of time. But there's something in here that you are so amp, amplified to get it. You look at the time, it's quite not possible. But you would figure it out. And I like your vibe because you're going to withdraw. Like, you're not a robot. Something tells me here, if someone is pushing you, hey, do this, do this. I am not a robot. You know, I'm a human being with a soul and a mind and a spirit. So you're going to withdraw. Yeah. You're going to wait for it to give birth naturally. Whatever this one is, it could be a relationship. It could be a project. But it's something that it's also connected to people putting a pressure on you. The Empress card is here. It's reminding you that let go. 
and let it give birth naturally. Let the problem... I'm kind of picking up... I don't think it's a problem. It's more of getting there. Like producing something productive. I'm kind of picking up those words. Or going to the next level. It's, it's, it's creating some sort of pressure. So I believe you will let go. And you will let allow its natural course to happen. Because it's beautiful when it's not forced. The Empress card. The team, the person, the situation likes you. Even if you withdraw, even if you say, I want to take a break, or you want to quit, or you want to say sorry, they still like you. They would admire you further. Okay? Now, you've got that, you've got the Ten of Swords, the Justice card, the Wheel of Fortune in here. The Ten of Swords, this is an ending of a bad cycle. The Wheel of Fortune, the Fool card. So for some of you guys, you are completely over with a person in the past. And it seems to be the universe, Justice card, this year, this year, you're going to travel, okay? As you prepare for that big travel, there's some sort of, there's going to be a big event, a big travel, a big thing that you would prepare. In the process of preparing yourself for the travel, for that big thing, you will come across a new love interest. The Justice card, this is the payback of the universe because the universe felt like, Leo, you are due to meet a soulmate or a true love or a proper relationship, a proper one-on-one -on -one relationship, a real one. A normal one and you're going to meet this when you are processing the travel or you're getting ready for a big travel or for a big event you are going to meet this person they're gonna be there they will be connected with you with processing papers travels maybe you have to buy something for that event or for that travel but it's a big thing like you kind of need to organize a lot of stuff you will be connected with this person and this person would help you. And then you travel or you go to the event with a happy heart because you're inspired and they're going to be waiting for you. So there's something about event and travel that will connect you with a new love interest. And this new love interest is something that you did not, you were not looking for it. It is the gift from the universe. Finally, a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Sign, send, delivered to you by the universe. It's connected to travel event or big event. It could be like big, big birthday party or big, um, could be your birthday. But it's a big event or big travel, like international. Five of Cups, yes, this is the answer to your sadness. You know, if you feel like sunshine, I've been soul searching. I really want, you know an organic relationship i don't want some i don't want to meet someone online i don't want to chase the past i don't want to deal with people in the past i want someone new i want someone who i will meet and organically i will connect this is it this is the answer to your sadness it's connected to a place to an event to a travel because the night of wands this is movement the night of wands is movement movement moving Okay, so you could be, I feel like this love interest, it will come to you when you are so busy, when you don't look for it, so busy, you're organizing, coordinating lots of schedules or buying some stuff, you're thinking of other things, not love, when you connect with this person. Like it will, excuse me, it will present itself, like it will shock you. Like you will be in the state of shock when they come around, you know. Like you're busy like that and suddenly it zooms and it amplifies and you meet this knight of wands. And you've got another empress in here. And the temperance card, this is heaven sent, I would say. You know, this is the gift of the universe to you. This is the organic love interest that you're wanting you're hoping and you have met this unexpectedly to a place to a situation where you're so busy 
and you know what this person is so beautiful you really like you you're a leo i would say their energy their face their aura their energy is exactly what you're looking for the temperance card there's something angelic about this person the empress card you're so attracted to each other whoever this person is you are so attracted to each other like you can't keep your hands you can't keep what's that song or there's a selena song but you know even if you don't speak you would see in their eyes and your eyes that you guys are so attracted with like you're inseparable the minute you confess to them or the minute they confess to you about they have feelings for you you guys will be inseparable like you will you're like a it's like bonnie and clyde or it's a very mystic like it's mysterious and they're very mysterious very cute mysterious they're they're quite shy but when they talk they really talk they you know well, when this person talks about their feelings they talk about their feelings but there are some times that they're quiet so you might struggle to figure them out in the beginning but they will be comfortable and they will they're so blunt and straightforward their bluntness and being straightforward is so cute you will like this person you will pet this person <laughs> like it's like a pet you will submit yourself to this person. It's very mesmerizing. It's angelic. Their voice is really, really... Like, it's strong and soft at the same time. I don't know. You're going to fall in love with this person, I would say. They're, they have charm over you. I like this person for you, Leo. So, this is your reading, Leo. Thank you so much for um, connecting with me. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thanks for the likes. Thanks for the subscribe. Thank you for following the channel. Channel, If you would like to further connect with me, Leo, I invite you to check out the description box below. You will see the details of my website. The website will have the details of the products and the services that we offer, including the private reading. So check it out there. Thank you for the love notes. Thank you for shouting me a coffee. And thank you, thank you. I'll connect with you soon. You have a great week. Bye-bye.